Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl from Elungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below, and we'll do it for you. You can check out our second YouTube channel called Fanny and Jesse 2.0. Head there, subscribe, and enjoy our weekly content. We've got a podcast called Diving In with Fanny and Jesse. And you have some amazing conversations which you guys don't want to miss. You can find us on iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, this channel, or our second YouTube channel for the visual. And um, you can check out our Patreon account and just feel free to become members. A big shout out to everyone that has um, subscribed to our channel. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, everything you guys do. It's very heartwarming. We are very, very grateful. I hope you guys are doing all right. I may stay blessed. Uh, one of you suggested this and a big shout out to you today. We're reacting to Dr. Zakir Naik five times and places to Supplicate to Allah. So without wasting time, let's get into the video Regarding the aspects of uh, etiquette, of course, you've had you've added some uh, important points now and that's very useful What about the the time and the place of supplication? Does that matter? As far as a person is concerned, he can supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala any time of the day, any time of the night, 24 hours of the day. But there are some times which are preferred. For example, immediately after the obligatory prayers. For example, especially the day of Juma, when a person is fasting, especially when he's breaking his fast. And when a person is praying in the sujood. Also, in the late hours of night. And the beloved Prophet said, it's mentioned in Sahih Muslim, Hadith number 1655, the beloved Prophet said that there is an hour during the night in which there will not be a Muslim who will ask for the good without Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granting it to him. That means there is an hour which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whatever the Muslim asks, supplicates, Allah will grant him. Further, the beloved Prophet said, it's mentioned in Sahih Muslim, Hadith number 1657, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala descends to the lowest heaven after one third of the night is over. And then he says, I am your Lord, I am your Lord. Is there anyone who is there to supplicate to me? and I will answer him. Is there anyone to beg and I will grant it to him? Is there anyone that requires forgiveness and I will forgive him? So one of the good times is during the late hours of night where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala descends. And the hadith continues and says that Allah continues asking these questions till the dawn breaks. So one of the good times to supplicate is the late hours of night, just before dawn. SubhanAllah. Let's all we'll get up and make sure. Does that mean uh, the last hours of the night? Meaning like... Tahajjud, which you offer late one third or the middle third of the night. And as far as the place is concerned, again, a person can supplicate in any place. As the beloved Prophet ﷺ said, it's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number one in the book of Salah, hadith number 438, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made for me and the believers the full earth as a place to pray. The full earth is the place where you can pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But in spite, there are certain places that if you supplicate in the mosque, it's preferable. And amongst the mosques, there's no better mosque than the Harmain. The first is the Makkah, the Baytullah, and the second is the Masjid in Abbin Madina. MashaAllah. I wish we could be there now, Dr. Zakir. Inshallah, later on. Inshallah. Does the situation uh, all the circumstances of the supplicant um, have any bearing on whether or not Allah accepts the dua? As I mentioned earlier, that the situation or circumstance he is in, if he asks Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he can supplicate Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But there are certain situations which are preferable. For example, when a person is fasting, when a person is traveling, when a just ruler when he supplicates, or just Imam, 
or a father supplicates for his son or daughter, or a person who has halal earnings and he supplicates, or it can be a person who prays in sujood, as our beloved Prophet Muhammad said. It's mentioned in the Sahih Hadith of Tirmidhi in the book of supplication. Hadith number 3598, the Prophet said, the prayer of three people is never rejected. Number one is a just ruler or a imam. Number two, a person who's fasting, especially when he breaks his fast. And number three is an oppressed person. And the similar hadith which I quoted earlier of Al-Bahaki, hadith number 1693, where the Prophet said, the prayer of three people is never rejected. A father when he prays for his child, a fasting person, especially when he breaks his fast, and a traveling person when he prays. So the hadith of the Prophet these are the times which are preferred when a person supplicates as compared to others. Interesting video, but I feel like I've reacted to this before. Otherwise, at least what, not, what I understand is Dr. Zaki Naik is saying there's no uh, specific time or place where we can pray for or supplicate as you want to refer to it. And even though I think he said the Quran or something, did he say the Quran? If I'm wrong, forgive me, but he's saying it says though God comes to the lowest of earths at this time. Otherwise, if you want to pray each hour of the, the day, feel free, each hour of the evening, feel free. It's really up to you and when you can make time, which we should always make time for to talk to God. We should always have time to talk to God. And for the place and doing, it's like eating. You can't just eat in each and every place, although we want to eat in each and every place. like. You can't eat from the toilet. So you're going to choose a place where you're very, very comfortable and is respectful when it comes to praying, where there's no distraction, where there's, you just feel peace and something that's going to allow you to feel that connection with God. Otherwise, if I'm posting this, then I didn't react to it, but I'm very sure I reacted to this. I hope so. I'll make sure to give, or oh, if there's something that you guys want us to react to or I should react to, drop me a link in the comment section below and I'll do it for you. And there's particles coming in from the windows. Anyway, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next reaction video.